Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Linux as a virtual machine on your Windows 11. A virtual machine offers several key benefits. First, you can run various operating systems at the same time without any issues, allowing you to explore and test them easily. Second, it provides dedicated memory and storage, meaning your virtual machine has its own hard disk space separate from your main computer. Lastly, and most importantly, Using a virtual machine enhances your security, as you can operate different operating systems without risking your main system. Please take a moment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for me and turn on the notification bell icon for more videos. To install Linux on a virtual machine, head over to your favorite browser and search for VMware Download. Click on this link, scroll down, and click on VMware Player for Windows. This will automatically download the VMware setup for you. You can see it says, now downloading. I've already downloaded it, so no need to download it again. To download the Linux, open a new tab and type in Kali Linux download. Click on this link, get Kali. Click on installer images. You will get option to download 64-bit, 32-bit, and Apple Silicon, ARM64. Just select 64-bit and scroll down and click on the download icon here. I've already downloaded it, so no need to download it again. Once you have installed the virtual machine, go ahead and open it. You can see I have installed Windows 11 on the virtual machine as well. Go to File and click on Create New Virtual Machine. We are gonna go with a typical installation, so let's click Next, click on Browse, and choose Kali Linux ISO that you have downloaded, and click on Next. Select Linux from the list. Click on the version, scroll down, and select Ubuntu 64-bit. Click on Next. You can name it whatever you like. I will name it as Kali Linux. You also need to give it a location of where you are going to install it. I will select my D drive here. I will make a new folder and name it as Kali Linux. Click on Next. It says we should specify the disk capacity. I will adjust the size to 40 gigabytes. You can either store the virtual disk as a single file or split the virtual disk into multiple files. We're gonna leave it as the default and hit next. Here are the specifications we have selected. You can customize the hardware, click on customize hardware. I'm gonna maintain the four gigabytes of RAM and change the processors. I'm going to change the number of processors to 4 and the number of cores per processor to 2. Close it when you are done with the changes. Click on Finish. You will get this kind of display when you click on Finish. Just click on Power this virtual machine to continue with the installation. You will see a box that shows options like Graphical Install and Install Advanced Options. Make sure to choose the graphical install option and then press enter. You will need to select a language. So choose the one you like and then click on continue. Select your location and then click on continue. Configure the keyboard layout you want to use and after that, just click on continue. Give it a few seconds to identify the hardware, and then the next screen will appear. It will ask you to configure the network. It will ask you the host name, so I will give the host name as Kali. If you are part of an organization and want to provide a domain name, you could do so. Just leave it empty if you don't have one, and then click on Continue. 
It will ask you to set up the user and the password. It's a very important part because without any user and password, you will not be able to log to your Kali Linux machine. I will type tech account into the blank area and click on continue. It asks for the username for your account, so you need to enter the username you want. Just type in your chosen username and then hit continue. You need to type in your password. After that, just enter it again and hit the continue button. Configure the clock to the time zone of your choice. After selecting it, click on continue to proceed. Next, you will be getting the partition disk option. So here you have to select guided use entire disk and click on continue. Click continue. Again, keep this selected to all files in one partition and click on continue. Keep this selected to finish the partitioning. Click yes to write the changes to the disks. Click on continue. The installation of the base system will be started. Again, wait for some time until you get the next screen. Click yes to install the grub boot loader and click on continue. Select the down option and click on continue. You can see it is finishing up the installation. Wait for some time until you get the next screen. The installation has completed. Click continue to reboot the device. Click on Kali Linux. You can see the Linux system is up and running. You will be coming to the login page. Type in your username and password to unlock the Linux. I will click on it and type in the same username and password that we created while configuring the Kali Linux. Once you are done with the installation, click on this, I finished installing to get rid of it from the bottom of the screen. Now you can see that we're inside the Kali Linux machine and we're on the desktop. To switch this virtual machine to full screen, just click on the full screen mode option located at the top left. You can search for about and view more information about your Linux PC. I will exit the full screen, and the last step in setting up a virtual machine is to create a snapshot. To do this, go to the VM option and select Take a Snapshot. A snapshot is a backup of the entire system at a specific moment. If something goes wrong, you can restore the system to that point. It's similar to a backup that includes all data. I usually name the snapshot with the username and password. Click on Take Snapshot when you are done. Once you take the snapshot, you'll have a backup of your system. If any issues arise, you can revert to this version as if you just set it up. That is it for today, everyone. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.